Hello everybody, I'm Leniska, and today we are playing a very famous game, I'm sure you know it, called Inscription. Um, I've never played it before, but I've always wanted to play it. I thought it was super cool. So we can't click New Game. I guess we'll continue. Ooh. Also, if you... It's just a pair of eyes. Another challenger. It's been ages. Also, if you think I look rugged, it's because participating in No Shave November, I just... I just gotta do it, right? So, perhaps you've forgotten this game. Wait, how this game is played. Yeah, I, I did forget. Please real hard. Now, play so. Sorry, not like that. Play so. Please, four, five, two seconds. You don't have enough. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Might as well. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Undying cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Okay, yeah, I'm good with that. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You come across an abandoned sack. Oh, squirrel in a jar. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Oh, on the house? Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. I could carry probably more. Like two bottles of squirrel and... Oh, little skull. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Alright. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. You'll help me. Play a log for now. Okay. You may now see my moves ahead of time. A fledgling. Card bearing the sigil will grow into a more... Oh, okay. Wait, how do I... Okay. What's that? Nah, it's good. Probably want to go uh, take out the. Oh, I can't play right there. Dang. Need I remind you? Your items may help. I'll put the. Uh, I'll put the, the stove down right there. Here we go. I like the, uh, the movement system. Let me break a bottle of squirrel. I'm going to want the undying cat right there. Cat. And then... Let me look. Yeah. I end my turn. Wolf cub. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. I'll take a squirrel. I'll place a squirrel. What does that mean? Airborne. Card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly. Even if there is a creature opposing it. 
Oh, so I need to get something that... No, we're good for now. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Yeah, one bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your squirrel. Poor cat. I think... Does this... It can still attack it, right? I think so, right? Oh, yeah. I should have just had something there. The wolf will... Another wolf. Squirrel in a bottle. Take it out. And then, woof. The Undying Cat. I, I gotta change my voices up. I forgot about that. I can't speak. Okay, the tails are skipped that. Tails. Scales. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, yeah. Oh. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. This is so good so far. Like... I, I always wanted this game, but I, I never bought it. But then I saw it came on Game Pass. And you know I'm a sucker for free deals, right? But so far it's been enthralling. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't like commentate on it. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, uh, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I don't fuck with the sparrow. Wolf cub. Oh, what's this? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You're compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. I really like the cat. So, Wolf Cub's gonna go in there. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie of, and selected a healthy host. Pick me. Do I trust the, uh, the stoat? Sure. No, he looks... No, I'll pick him. <laughs> what an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. So what does the stoat being able to transform do? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. He's completely insane. Do you see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. <laughs> Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay. Okay, dude, yeah. Alright, let's see here. What do you what do you put down? Got a coyote. Got a bat. How much damage does the coyote do? Two? How much health? Okay. So I'm gonna put down the squirrel and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that. Back on the board, yeah man. Alright. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Oh, two five stoat. Alright. Probably should have 
So if my stoke kills that, this will still kill me. So I think I have to... Ooh. Ugh. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Okay. That wolf cub is going to transform, come, and attack. So I really wish... There's airborne too. Oh, there's... Hold on a second. Military tactics are like unto water, for water in its natural course runs away from high places and hastens downward. <sighs> My stoat's in a bad location. I think I can stall, though, if I... I think I have to sacrifice the stoat. Um, no, but if I do, it doesn't get me anything. Well, I have to get one of these. Place that down. Place that down. Um... I think I'm still gonna lose. Oh, wait. Okay. So my stoat right now is way better than the art of war. It's all about fluidity. The Undying Cat! Okay. Oh. Oh, yes. You're one damage away from winning. Now two. I don't... I don't think I even... No, I... Yeah, my wolf doesn't go... I'll play I'll play the undying cat though. Love I love the undying cat. A wolf. Oh yeah. Sun Tzu really came in clutch there. I <laughs> impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. All right, let's just see what's happening. That was a close one. I did not expect that. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. I have too many. What? The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. What? What is that? What is this thing? I definitely need more one one blood cards i think rest or i guess i'm just assuming that's a rest i don't know what the campfire does sacrifice we'll, we'll go to the campfire we haven't been there maybe it's like dark souls you came across a small group of survivors Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. C 
come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. I think, even if it, I'm assuming that's one attack power. Even if, even if uh, it is, turns out to be good, our stoat is powerful enough. I think in, I think it's barrel. The fire warmed the poor sparrow, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the sparrow away from the fire and left. Oh, good. Our sparrow didn't get eaten. Another battle, though. How long should I make this? I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking a 30-minute session. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in here. The foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It's got a sparrow. Oh, the grand fur has a, has, has a protection from the grizzly. The undying cat. Yes. Why didn't I think of that? Um, the stoat will die. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just put the sparrow in there for now because I think the stoat is, is one of our best bets. Ooh. It is not looking good. Um, oh my god. I should have just put a squirrel down and passed that turn. That's probably what I should have done. Um, no, no, no. Uh, I think I need to I think I need to take the four <laughs> This spot, you sure? Yeah, man. Level up. Come on. Oh, damn. I yeah, no, I just lose here. Sure, man, but Put the undying cat down. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, it's got like a... I'm assuming there's a code somewhere that I'm supposed to look in. Is there any... Can I clicky? No. I'm just, hey man. Oh, that's cool, hammer. Oh, you can kind of look in the table. Just blow that out, kind of. Ooh, squirrel. Come on, ah. Bring it here. Oh, yeah. Now sit back down. Oh. 
Let me explain something to you. Oh. That was one of your two mistakes you can make here. I gotta click. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? I think I want the items. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. Another spare. What? The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. I'm tempted for the elk. But the skunk also seems good. I think I'm going to use the skunk. Let's get some items. Its bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleating, not nicely. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Hey, between a rock and a hard place. Last time, I think it was a problem of sacrifices, and this only gives you one. But a boulder is. No, I'll just go black oak. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. I'm tempted for the um the boulder because it may give me time, but also I don't know how. I don't think f the flight is necessarily useful as much as taking five damage may be able. Oh, I'm gonna get a squirrel again. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carried on. I hope my voice is as epic as I think it is, or uh, or I sound like a um, like a seventh grader. I don't know. Oh, the trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Oh sh! It's a it's a it's a prospector. Here, <laughs> twas the prospector. Hmm. Put down coyote, black mule. I don't know exactly what the black mule will do, but I need to deal with the coyote. The coyote will attack and kill the sparrow. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I put down the... I'm thinking I let the coyote attack and I don't think I want I don't want the black mule to move because he puts something other oh he won't move next turn okay so I'm going to take this and I think I'm going to I think the wolf is probably a good bet. Oh, I probably should have put down the... Well, the river snapper would have killed him, too. What is that under... We get another card. A skunk is good. Um, 
I think I'm good for this turn. Will this opposing lose one power? Yeah. Um. I think it may be good to put down the sparrow, get some damage. Dang. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss. The mule's key. Oh, so I should kill it then. And the reason that I did this was so I'm going to put... I'm gonna get the black goat. Put it down. Wait. Oh. But I don't think I understand. Oh, wait, because I gotta sacrifice the sparrow. Put down the black goat, and then I will put down the stoat. Right there. Oh! I think I misunderstood. So I'm gonna take four damage. That's fine. I have a squirrel. I think I want another. What does this do? An empty space would be struck. Card bearing the sigil will move to that space. Okay. So, I think I'm going to do, put a river snapper right here. It, my mule. Okay. I got a squirrel and I now have the undying cat. What does the bullfrog do? I just need to kill the coyote. Alright, I think I'm gonna grab that. Put down that squirrel. Put down that squirrel. I think a raven will do well here. Wait, did the raven not kill the coyote? Oh, it reached over it. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, wolf. Here's, here's what I'm going to do. I don't know, actually. I'm bad on my part. Okay. It's going to hit that. Just get a squirrel and then put a squirrel down. Nope. I think I just need the bullfrog. That'll be good. I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. There's gold in them cards. G -g gold! I've struck 
gold. What is that? Bloodhound. I don't know. Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. Card bearing the sigil. Oh. If I place a card there now, I think that'll come over here. So, I think I might as well... I'll draw a squirrel and just kind of pass. Get him! What does the gold do? And I think... Yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. Scroll there. Scroll there. Then blank, blank, dink. And then I will attack, kill the bloodhound. Place that. Get another squirrel. What's the poison do? When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. I don't like that, but I think what will be good here is getting... I don't think the cat will do anything there. I'm just going to leave the squirrel on the board right now. Another cat. We should just be good if... I think this should be good, right? Oh, nice. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Oh, nice, yeah. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? A largely unimpressive specimen. The Ur... The Uriuli. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. For the Uriuli... Ur... The Ur... The Uriuli. I don't... I like the... I like the uh, strength of the Ur... Uriuli, but, um... I don't know if... I don't think I'll have uh, enough. Um, what is it? I don't. I I won't have enough cards on the board to be able to even sacrifice. Like I don't have anything that, like the like the black goat that gives me more blood for per sacrifice. So I don't think the Ur Yuli will be good right now. I think I'll go. I'll go strange larva. That sounds. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Mm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Oh. Well, everybody, I think that is enough for one episode. Uh, I will definitely be continuing this. I've wanted to play this game for a very long time. And I know that it probably won't do well because it's very out of the limelight at this point. But I think I, I th I've been having a lot of fun. With, I mean, it's only been I've only gone like 40 minutes in the game. I've still had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I know I wasn't commentating enough. I'm sorry, I was very tired. 
and also there's a lot of text coming at me but I think next time will be uh, will be will be much more lively um, anyway I hope you enjoyed if you did uh, please consider liking and subscribing maybe leaving a comment it would make my week it really would uh, and if you like or don't like something you can also comment on that I'm very open to criticism uh, or compliments put that out there and compliments uh, but yeah I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, I will see you later star sailor peace